I'm going to show you how you can enable the built-in Windows Sandbox within Windows 11. The Windows Sandbox is an isolated, lightweight ephemeral environment that can be used to safely run applications in isolation from the host machine. This is great for testing files or applications which could potentially be dangerous or have been downloaded from an unknown or untrusted source. So to actually enable the Windows Sandbox, if you go to the Start button and then right click and go to Run, and then type in Optional Features, all one word. This will bring up the Windows Features panel, and then you can scroll down, and then right at the bottom, you should have Windows Sandbox. Now, if the Windows Sandbox option doesn't appear, it's likely because you're using Windows 11 Home and not Windows 11 Pro or Enterprise. So if we tick the Windows Sandbox and then press OK, it should start to install. Once the install has finished, you can just press Restart Now to restart the machine, and then we can access the Windows Sandbox. Now that the PC has been restarted, we can just sign back in. And then when we're back at the desktop, we can press the Start menu, come to All Apps, and then scroll down, and then we should find the Windows Sandbox. And then we can click it, and then it will open. The first time it opens, it might be a bit slow. Now for this, you do need to make sure that virtualization is enabled in the BIOS, as this will create its own small temporary virtual machine each time it's opened, and then when it's closed, it permanently deletes it. So now we've got the sandbox open, we can see it is essentially just a very lightweight version of Windows 11. So what I'll do is I will just copy some files to the sandbox environment, So now these files are copied, I will just quickly install PowerShell, just as an example. So I'll just click through the installer and let that install. And then once it's installed, we can open PowerShell like we would normally in a standard Windows environment. So it's basically just a lightweight version of your operating system. Now, there are a couple of things to bear in mind. If you restart the machine, it keeps the session temporarily. So if I just come to restart, it will then reboot the environment. And then once the environment has been rebooted, we can see that we've still got our desktop icons. And if we come to the start menu, we've still got PowerShell installed. Now that is the only way to actually keep the session history. So it gives us the ability to install software that requires a reboot. But if we just either come to the shutdown menu or sign out, or if we just close the session, it will say, are you sure we want to close the sandbox? Because once it's closed, all of its contents will be discarded and permanently lost. So if I terminate this sandbox session and then open a new sandbox, we'll see it opens a fresh session and it has removed anything that was installed and it is back to being a clean slate. Now this is great for just quickly testing applications or if you've got potentially dodgy files and you don't want it to infect your host operating system, but this environment is totally isolated. So that is how you can enable the Windows Sandbox on Windows 11.